All right, so we just saw the opening and closing credit from the Jetsons, and uh, you'll notice that the, this treadmill thing, they predicted treadmills, I guess. I don't know. I don't think they had treadmills back then. Uh, maybe they did. Uh, and then uh, there was the, um, being able to talk to each other on, on the screen. That was a thing that they invented. There were two things from this show, though, that they had predicted would happen uh, that have not happened, though. And um, I want you to just chat with the person next to you, see if you can figure out what those two things are. One of them they showed a lot in this uh, thing. The other one was just kind of, they, they had a character in here that just briefly showed, and that's actually what we're going to talk about today. Uh, but what do you think? What were the two main things that they showed here that didn't happen? I thought those were like okay, who wants to take a whack at it? What, uh, what, what two things, name one thing that didn't really, hasn't really happened yet like they would have predicted. What do you think? Flying. Yes, sir. Flying. Flying car. So you might ask yourself, why hasn't the flying car really happened? And I think there are three good answers to this, maybe more. One is that the uh, propulsion systems just haven't really been invented to be safe in that environment. Um, there's also some legal issues, like what happens when it crashes, who's responsible, and all that stuff. And we, the, the, the mechanical stuff just hasn't really developed yet. But now I think with the drones, you, I think the, I've seen some experiments in the Middle East where they're starting to do some taxis, flying cars. But anyway, so that's still a little bit away, maybe another 20, 30 years. I don't know. Now, there was a character that was just briefly shown in the credits here which I wanted to talk a little bit more about today. That's the other thing that hasn't really happened. Anybody know who, or what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Kind of like the robot. It was the robot. Now, the robot that was shown on here, I don't know if, uh, I think it's going to be right here. That's this character. Anybody know what the name of that character is? She was pr more prominent on the show than in the credits. That's Rosie the robot. And um, Rosie had a great personality. I mean, she was like kind of picked up from the junk heap and... She became like a member of the family, and there were a lot of episodes that featured Rosie. And what I want to know is, what happened? Why don't we have Rosie the robot? Rosie was like a thinking sort of creature. Yes. So right now, when we write programs, we write programs to do very specific things. But if you wanted to get it to be able to use that specific knowledge to do something else similar, we don't really have the technology for that. And the reason why is that <clears throat> whereas lots of things have progressed very, very quickly, one of the things that has not progressed quickly up until recently is artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence has been a promise that's been out there for 50 years, and it always seemed 50 years away, sort of like nuclear fusion. And every 10 years go by, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's still 50 years away. Now, I say this for the first time. I've been teaching this course 10 years. This actually looks like we're finally going to get over the hump here. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Uh, some parts of me are a little nervous about it. But it looks like artificial intelligence is finally happening. And it's, artificial intelligence has a lot of barriers. One of them, people felt that we have trouble as humans writing software that's flexible and can sort of mimic human thinking. And part of the reason for that is that when we write software, if it's recursive, and I'll, I'll talk about what that means in a minute, it, it becomes really hard for us to write and analyze. And so our inability to write recursive software is probably one of the big reasons why we don't have Rosie the Robot yet. Although the last couple of years, it, it appears we've made some significant breakthroughs towards getting Rosie.